John, your reaction to the outbreak of Benghazi fever? Well, Ed, the only way these guys can exploit these four tragic deaths more would be to actually fire Benghazi t-shirts out of one of those NASCAR guns at the hearings. They don't care <laughs> about these four innocent dead people. We went from <laughs> using a terror attack in 2001 to cheer on a president to using a terror attack in 2012 to smear on a president. They exploited 3,000 terror dead to attack Iraq, and now they exploit four terror dead to attack Barack. Remember the quaint days of United We Stand, Ed? Well, this is all about one thing, and it's not about a cover-up. If they cared about a cover-up, Oliver North would be breaking rocks in a federal pen right now. This is about 2014. The GOP has no ideas, and they've got to get the base out. This gets them angry, and I'm sorry, but the Democrats are taking this like a real pinata. They're like a, a, an S&M slave who forgot his safe word, and they keep getting pummeled on this. The Democrats need to turn this around and call these guys out for what they're really doing, a crass exploitation of four tragic deaths for a really disgusting political game. It's not about buzz and it's not about making converts. It's about getting that 23% that's going to vote Republican no matter what to show up and vote even though they have no reason to still trust the Republican Party. If the Democrats were smart, they would start taking their case to social conservatives as to why they should kick the GOP to the curb. In the meantime, they're going to be bludgeoned with this. The GOP wants this narrative out there and the Democrats are going to have to respond. I think anyone who says dude to begin a sentence over the age of 18 has committed an impeachable offense, frankly. And I think that the, they <laughs> sadly gave Fox News a great big candy wrap Christmas present with that. Democrats are letting them drive the narrative. I'd like to see more high profile Democrats come out and say, you guys have blamed Barack Obama, you've blamed Susan Rice, and you'll be blaming Hillary Clinton until Election Day 2016. When are you Republicans going to get around to blaming the actual terrorists who killed these people? It's about getting the base angry and getting the base out to vote. And in that sense, the GOP is playing it very smart. They don't have to adhere to logic or morality. They can be hypocrites on this. And they're tremendous hypocrites. Said, you showed the graph of all the people we lost uh, during the Bush administration. Uh, and, and, the, the, and again, with Ronald Reagan and the troops killed in Beirut. And then Reagan turns around and sells arms to the same Iranians who helped kill our Marines in Beirut. It's complete hypocrisy yeah. for the Republicans to be angry about this. They don't care. They care about getting their base out to vote when they've given them no other reason. And this is going to help them. But they don't have to be yeah. logical. You know why? Benghazi! And it works. Yeah. <laughs>